Good afternoon and good morning. I am Jihei, a second year graduate student working with Professor Glasa and Professor Goldstone at Princeton University. Today, I'd like to walk you through our unique study on scintillator coupled with photographic film for the purpose of zero knowledge verification. In arms control treaty verification, it is important not to reveal any sensitive information of a nuclear weapon which is to be inspected. Our group previously proposed a zero knowledge protocol as a template approach and showed that a superheated emulsion detector or a bubble detector can be used for this purpose since it is preloadable. However, bubble detectors have low efficiency and low spatial resolution. So we propose here an alternative preloadable fast neutron detector with photographic film. As a preliminary experiment for this concept, at Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory, we exposed 14 MeV neutrons from a DT generator to one inch diameter zinc sulfide neutron scintillator and a photographic film. So when the scintillation is emitted, it is recorded on the photographic film instead of photomultiplier tube and other electronics. The scintillator was half covered by a borated poly block to see the contrast. So here are the recordings on the film and our scintillator LGEN 410, which has rings of zinc sulfide activated with silver and separate rings of light guide to increase the scintillation efficiency. When we exposed neutrons, uh, the intensity on the film increased with increasing exposure time, except this five minute exposure. Um, this shows the afterglow effect, which I'm going to talk later. From the intensity on the film, we could find that the left side on the scintillator, which was covered by the poly block, showed 30% lower intensity when compared with the uncovered side on the right. Also, when we analyzed the image density in terms of exposure, it showed good agreement with the characteristic curve of the film, which is suggested by the manufacturer. Um, going back to the afterglow effect, uh, the five minute exposure previously turned out to be the phosphorescence caused by the sunlight. Um, we could see this effect with our zinc sulfide screen and, and it additionally showed us random phosphorescence centers, uh, the dots here. So based on what we have, a uh, neutron scintillator coupled with photographic film looks like a promising option for zero knowledge protocol. It seems that this zinc sulfide with film can reproduce signals just like bubble detectors did with 14 MeV neutrons transmitted through the target. It is expected to have higher efficiency and higher spatial resolution than bubble detectors. But of course, we need to do more experiments on this. Um, thanks to MTV, we could perform series of neutron exposures at Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory. And we will continue to do so to better understand the property of the scintillator and the photographic film. Furthermore, we have a schedule to test different neutron sources in this summer at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory through my internship. Um, so that's the end of my presentation and thank you for listening.